Hello, I'm a tuba judge. Now, this is, this is interesting. Praise God. We're we talking about attitude that enhances your knowledge of God. So, we, we, we are still reading from 2 Peter chapter 1. And, and verse 8 says, For if these things be in you and abound. See? Uh, let me read the Amplified. For, for as these qualities are yours and increasingly abound in you, they will keep you from being idle. Did you see that? I told you yesterday, there is no way you will walk with God and be an idle or a lazy person. It's impossible. See? It says, they will, they will keep you from being idle. This is where the power is. They will keep you from being idle or unfruitful unto the full personal knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And did you see that? That's from the Amplified Version. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, they will keep you. What? As you, as you go about. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, remember I said, it is God that is at work in us, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So you see, what we're talking about is you submitting to the Lord. Submitting to the Lord. How do you add excellence to your faith? You submit to the Lord. You desire, you know, you, you desire. So, you know, sometimes, you know, the way this thing, these things work, sometimes I just wish I'll gather this whole experience and just put inside of you. But if, you, if you're experiencing these things, you will understand what I'm saying. You know, you, you may be, just be sitting down and then a desire just comes to your heart. And you think that it was you. No, many times it wasn't you. It was the Spirit of God that's putting things and thoughts in your heart. Praise God. Now, what do you do? If it's good, you say, Lord, I don't know why this thought has been coming to me, Lord. See, you acknowledge it. That's where you start from. You acknowledge it. And, and, and acknowledge it as from the Lord. See? So, so you are staying in that single, you know, self-contained apartment. And you're just lying down there. And it just comes to you. Hey, do you know you can believe God for a two-bedroom flat? Or for a one-bedroom flat? And then you go, ah, ah, hmm, where am I going to get the money from? And, and most times, you get the reply almost immediately. So, you, know, you think you're thinking. But you don't know that you're talking to the Lord. See, that's, that's how it works. <laughs> uh, where am I going to get the money from? Okay. Then you hear, where have you been getting the money from before this time? And then you go, that's true. Hold on. Really? Where have I been getting the money from? And I begin to think about it and say, but Lord, you've been supplying the money for this thing. Hey, hold on. Lord, if you can supply for uh, a self-contained. Can you supply for a one-bedroom apartment? I, I need to expand right now. Now, what are you doing? You're adding to your faith virtue. You've seen the Lord walk with you. And now the Lord is bringing, and remember I told you last week, faith comes first. So faith is coming to you again. See? And then you go, okay. Okay. Lord, I believe. I, I can receive that. I can receive that. You know, sometimes the devil like, hey, you, you've never got any job. You say you want to move from one bedroom. Front. You don't, you see, say, let me tell you this. Satan always comes to oppose the word of God. Now, that's what he comes up against. It's the word of God. So now you are here having this wonderful fellowship with the Lord and say, Lord, I, I, I can expand. It, it can even be your business. Maybe your business is localized. And then you're just there meditating on it and, and just thinking, you know. And then, listen, don't spend your time worrying over anything. Rather, convert it to a conversation with the Lord. Tell the Lord your concerns. It has turned from worrying, see, to now expressing it before the Lord. And, and you're just there say, Lord, you know, I've been doing this business for the past four years. Yeah, I'm just thinking of expanding. Or sometimes the thought will come to you, you can expand. And then you're just thinking, yes, I, I believe I can expand. And then suddenly you hear, expand to where? You, what do you even know? What connections do you even have? Now, when you hear voices like that, that's the devil. That's all he does. He comes to oppose. Now, now what's he coming to oppose? The Lord is actually 
planning to move it to the next level. Now, as you're, you're about to receive his word into your heart, that would move you. But here comes the devil. You can't do it. That's all he does. He opposes. Satan never gives direction. He always opposes. You know, sometimes someone say, um, I, I'm, 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 I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm engaged to somebody and planning to marry the person. But I had this dream and in the dream, you know, somebody was telling me that I cannot get married. I cannot get married. And then you wake up and say, ah, is that God that is telling me? That's not God. That's the devil. That's all he does. He opposes. Now, can God come to me through a dream and tell me, oh, I'm making a mistake? Of course, yes, he, he can. And he would. He would come, he will bring his word to you. It doesn't have to be through a dream. He will surely bring his word to you. See, many people who have made mistakes in life, if they are sincere, they will tell you there was a time the word of God came to them that they shouldn't go that way. But they ignored it. See? So, when the word of God comes, it gives you direction. He tells you, don't go that way, go this way. See? And that's how God speaks. He doesn't leave you in limbo. Tells you, think you want to marry and then you sit down there and say i don't know i heard the voice saying you think you want to marry and then and, I'm, I'm sure it's the holy spirit that's just telling me that this is not come on that's not the holy spirit that's not how he speaks when he speaks he will give you direction i'm telling you the truth praise god so he said if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you're not barren or idle in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. I remember I told you, all you need is to grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So how does it work? Now, see me adding virtue to my faith. And I'm talking to the Lord, Lord, I think we can expand this business. Yes, we can expand this business. And while I'm meditating on that, you know, I take out time to pray concerning it. You know, I say, Lord, I'm setting out this time to pray concerning my business. I am hearing expansion in my heart. So I begin to pray. And then when I'm praying, what happens to me? The knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ comes to me. You know, Jesus will just come and say, Do you know, don't you know that I'm the one who expands? See, he's introducing himself to you. Now, as you meditate on what he just told you, all your being, and guess what? everything that you need for that expansion will begin to be attracted to you. Why? Because his word has come to you. You have increased in his knowledge. Praise God. You know we've got to stop now. I pray that God's favor will rest upon you today. And you will walk in ways you have never imagined before. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye-bye.